Hey guys, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I am making Instant Pot Cashew Chicken. So my name is Kristen Hills and I am the second sister out of the six sisters. So usually every Sunday I share an Instant Pot recipe with you and today is cashew chicken. Now, before we get started on all that, I'm so excited to announce that our Instant Pot cookbook is now available for pre-order on Amazon. So if you wanna check that out, I'll put a link down below in the description for you. You guys, this cookbook is gonna be awesome. It has over 100 recipes, tried and true. Like, we have tested everything and we're so excited for this book. So the release date will be November 24th, but you can pre-order it now. All right, guys, if you're ready, let's get cooking. All right, so first we're gonna push the saute button on the Instant Pot. And then we're going to let it sit there, let it heat up until it says hot. If you're questioning how hot the saute is, this is a high heat or high saute. All right, so once it's all heated up, once it's ready to go, we're gonna add about three tablespoons of olive oil. I just kind of eyeball it, you know this. Then I'm just gonna take my pot and kind of just mix it around so all the oil is around. Okay, next we're gonna just dump in the chicken. So this is about two pounds of cubed chicken. We're just gonna throw it right in. Now we're just gonna cook this until our chicken is browned on all sides. So now your chicken is not gonna be cooked all the way through. We're, we're literally just browning a little bit, cooking the outsides, giving it just a little bit extra flavor with that browning. So now we're gonna start and make a little sauce. We're just gonna put this to the side for a second. Okay, so this is the sauce that makes it taste so good. So first we're gonna add, this is called hoisin sauce. Now correct me if I'm wrong, but I pronounce it hoisin. We'll see. We'll see what you think. Um, so that's four tablespoons of that sauce. We're just gonna dump right in. Get my whisk. Okay. Then this part's easy because it's just a tablespoon of a lot of other things. So we have about a tablespoon of soy sauce. Squeeze that in. Okay, and then about a tablespoon of rice vinegar. You can find all these in your grocery store. They're not hard to find. And then about a tablespoon of honey, and I am not gonna measure my honey. I'm just gonna kinda eyeball it, but it is a tablespoon. We'll just throw it in there. All right. Okay, and then last of our little sauce, we're gonna add about a half teaspoon of this sesame oil. Oops, that's a new one. There we go. And just push that in. All right, and we're just gonna mix this all together. It smells so good. Oh, I love that. And I love this hoisin sauce. It's like a molasses base in it, and it, it just makes it have a sweeter taste to it. I really like it. Okay, so sauce is done. Chicken is done. Whoopa. <laughs> okay, we're gonna mix this around just a little bit. All right, chicken is looking good. We're gonna turn off our saute button. So we're gonna push cancel. Go from this side today. Keep mixing around, you don't want it to burn onto the bottom. Then we're gonna add our sauce just right on top of it. Try and get all that sauce out. Mix that around just a little bit. Okay, next we're gonna cook um, our peppers in with it. So just go ahead and add your peppers. And then we're gonna add about a half a cup of chicken broth, because we just need a little bit more liquid so it will pressurize. It's about half a cup. There we go, of chicken broth. Mix it around just a little bit. Okay and we're ready to cook. Now you can put your broccoli in it. I just don't love putting my broccoli in right now because if you put it in and cook it for the eight minutes, it is going to kind of disintegrate. So I'm gonna actually steam my broccoli. We'll put it in later, but if you don't care if it disappears, you can put your broccoli in now. Okay, of course, we're gonna put the lid on. 
Make sure that our little knob is, let's see, of course we're gonna push cancel, we're gonna push the pressure cook button or the manual button, depending on what you have. And then we're just going up to eight minutes. So once you set it, you can literally just walk away. Now this Instant Pot doesn't have a venting or sealing. It's the new, one of the new ones, and so I can just walk away. But make sure if you, if, it's, if you don't have one of those that it is on sealing, not venting. All right, so when the timer is up, you can go ahead and turn the little knob to venting, or if you have an Instant Pot like me, you can just press the button. All right, so once all the pressure's out, go ahead and lift your lid up. Oh, it smells so good. All right, and so now that it's un all done cooking, there is quite a bit of liquid. So you can always take some of the liquid, mix it with a little bit of cornstarch to make like a slurry, slurry, excuse me. And then you can push saute, put in the cornstarch, kind of mix it, thicken it up. But personally, my family doesn't care if it's thick or not. So I'm just gonna keep it like this. Now I did cook up my broccoli. So I have about two cups of broccoli here. Whoop. <laughs> and we're just gonna mix that in too. All right, so normally I would serve this over rice, but my husband loves it over cauliflower rice. That's his new favorite thing. And so we're just gonna serve it just like this. There you go. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Now, if you want more easy Instant Pot recipes, you can check out this video right there, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.